In the previous session, we have gone through Shannon Fano encoding algorithm where we have considered a binary code. Now, in this segment, we should consider Shannon Fano encoding algorithm ternary code. Now, the procedure remains the same with slight modification. So, let us consider a problem and let us see how to perform Shannon Fano ternary code. The steps are very similar. So let us consider the symbols. So there are seven symbols S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6 and S7. The first step is to arrange all the symbols in the decreasing order of their probabilities. So their probabilities are arranged in the decreasing order. So S1 symbol has a probability 0.3. S2 is 0 0.3, 0 0.12, 0 0.12, 0 0.06, 0 0.06, 0 0.04. For Shannon Fano binary code encoding algorithm, please go through the previous segment. The link is given in the description. So here, when we have to go in for Shannon Fano ternary code, what is done is we need to divide all the probabilities into three nearly equal probability groups. So I have seven symbols, so they have to be divided into three groups where each group probability are nearly equal. So this is 0.3, so this is grouped into one. So then I have S2, probability is again 0.3, so I make one more group and all the remaining 4 into another group. So 0 0.3, 0 0.3, if you add up all the probabilities from S3 to S7, it is 0.4, right? So I have divided all the probabilities into 3 groups and they are almost equal, nearly equal, right? So they cannot be exactly equal, but nearly equal. Give the code 2 for the first group, the second to the second group 1 and to the third group 0. So in binary code what is done? We divide all the probabilities into two groups of nearly equal probabilities. The first group is assigned 1 and the second group is assigned 0. But here when we are dividing into three groups, I assign 2 to the first group 1 and then 0. So next what is done, this cannot be further grouped or divided, so I consider the third group 0 0.12, 0 0.12, 0 0.06, 0 0.06, 0 0.04, right? So this can further be grouped, right? So 0 0.12, 0 0.12 and then I group all these three, right? So if I sum up, this is 0.06 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.12 plus 0 0.04 is 0.16. So I have divided them into three groups of nearly equal probabilities, assign 2, 1 and 0, right? So these two cannot be further divided and grouped. So I have 0.06. 0 0.06, 0 0.04. So you have three individual groups assigned to 1 and 0. So now what is the code? And then we also will write the length of the code. The code for S1 is 2, the length is 1. The length is 2. The code for S4 is 0, 1. The length is again 2. The code for S5 is 0, 0, 2. The length is 3. The code for S6 is 0, 0, 1. The length is 3. The code for S7 is again 0, 0, 0. The length is 3. Right? So this is 
how we get the codes and we have got the length. So now we must try to find the efficiency. So first we need to find the average length L. So what is the average length L? The average length L is the probability into its respective code length. Right? So we have the probabilities of, let me rewrite the probabilities. So the probability of S1 is 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.12, 0 0.12, 0 0.06. 0, 06 and 0, 0.04. So the, these are the probabilities of the symbols S1 to S7. So now I need to find the average length L. So the average length L is the probability into its respective code length. So we have 0. 0.3 into 1 plus 0. 0.3 into 1. So I made a mistake. The length is 1 here. Right? plus the code is the probability is 0.1 into 2 the length is 2 plus 0.12 into 2 plus 0 0.06 into 3 plus 0 0.06 into 3 plus 0 0.04 into 3 right so the code length is 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. So therefore, we get 1.56 trinary units or it is called as trillions per message symbol. Right? So trinary units per message symbol. Next, we find the entropy. The entropy is summation pi log to base to 1 by pi. So we have already seen how we can find the entropy in the previous segment. So what do we finally get? So the probabilities of the first two symbols are the same. So it is 0 0.3 into log to base to 1 by 0 0.3 occurring twice because the probabilities are the same for S1 and S2 plus 0 0.12 log to base 2 1 by 0 0.12 again occurring twice so it is 2 into plus 0 0.06 log to base 2 1 by 0 0.06 again occurring twice plus 0 0.04 log to base 2 1 by 0 0.04 so when we calculate, we get the value 2.4491 bits per message symbol. Alright, so now let me write the value L. The average length L is 1.56 trinits per message symbol and the entropy H of S is 2.4491 bits per message symbol. Okay, so we have found out the average length L and we have also found out the entropy. So now we need to find the entropy here. So here, this is entropy in bits per message symbol. Okay, but here we are using an R array code. That is, we are not using binary, but we are using an R array. What is R? R is 3. I am not using 0 and 1, but I am using 0, 1 and 2. So therefore, the entropy, so the entropy in R array, units per message symbol. So here R is 3 because we are using 
0, 1 and 2. So therefore, h 3 of s for r equal to 3 is nothing but h of s divided by log 3 to base 2. Right? So if we had gone in for binary, it would be h of s. Since I am using a 3 array code, that is, we have 0, 1 and 2. So h of s has to be divided by log 3 to base 2. So therefore, we get 2.4491 divided by log 3 to base 2. We get 1.5452 trinary units per message symbol. Okay. Right? So this has to be kept in mind. So whenever we go in for an R array code, we need to divide H of S divided by log R to base 2. Okay. So since R is 3, we do log 3 to base 2. Suppose we go in for quaternary, that means 0, 1, 2 and 3, I need to divide H of S by log 4 to base 2. So now let's try, let's find the efficiency. So the efficiency is the efficiency of the code is the entropy H3 of S divided by the average length L. So we have 1.5452 divided by 1.56 which is approximately 99.05% that is what we get. Okay. So the only difference between binary and ternary code is that the procedure remains the same. Here internally we divide it into three groups assigning 2, 1 and 0 and so on. And the other change is to find the entropy. First find the entropy in bits per message symbol and divide it by log r to base 2. So since we are going in for a trinary code, I need to divide it by log 3 to base 2. So let's also write the code tree. So how do we write the code tree? So I have the symbols. So I get S1. The code is 2. Right? So S1 is the symbol. The code, its respective code is 2. Next. S2 is again 1. S3 is 0. 2 S4 is 0 1 right next S5 is 0 0 2 next S6 is 0 0 1 and S7 is 0 0 0 so we start from here the code 3 so I move. So to get S1, the code is 2. So next, to get S2, it is 1. To get S3, the code is 0, 2. To get S4, it is 0, 1. To get S5, is 0, 0, 2. To get S6, is 0, 0, 1. And to get S7, is 0, 0, 0. So this becomes the code tree. 